Now, you're talking about 80% of the test here, so I'm going to write it on the board what this is going to look like, okay? Just like the 110 that I wrote. Let me go back to the 120. Let me go back. There it is. Write that down. I'm going to go get fill this up with water, and I want you to write this down. Now, instead of 7, 5, 7 point A, 7 B, 7 C, and 7 E, Okay, just like the outline says, instead of five, it's chapter seven. I'll be right back. basically what, what the test is going to look like. It's the same as the Math 120 test. In fact, I use a lot of the same problems. Make sure you know what correlation is. Positive correlation, left to right up. Negative correlation, left to right down. No correlation. Make sure you know how to find the point or equation using a point-slope equation. Make sure you know how to calculate the slope and make sure you know how to find the R factor on your calculator. I told you how to do that on your calculator in the Excel spreadsheet, and that's all I care about. I don't care about you doing it by hand because I didn't teach you how to do it by hand. Um, so that's the test, basically. And I don't even know what section. Somebody have to look up correlation. Which section of the book is correlation in? Anybody might look it up. I think it's like in the first couple of chapters. But I, I just gave you the notes on it. Um, so it's not very difficult. You're talking about two questions, two or three questions, and they're going to come from that stuff right there. Okay? So with that, let's go over the last section of this unit, which will be 7 Echo or whatever they call it in this book. So retarded. All right. I'm sorry. I hate this book. I hate it. All right. Current slide, counting and probability. I mean, this is the only book I've ever seen in 25 years that calls their section 7 Echo, 7 Alpha, 7 Beta. Well, you should get used to that. It's like a military term. Yeah, but it, I mean, it usually it's 7 1, 7 2, 7 3. But anyway, counting and probability. We're not talking about <laughs> counting like 1, 2, 3, 4. We're talking about counting with exponents and with factorial. Exponents and factorial. Exponents 
and factorial. Factorial is a mathematical symbol denoted by the exclamation mark. Okay? Exponents, pretty, and, and what these two are dealing with is different forms of combinations and permutations. Combinations, no order. Permutations mean order. Now they're going to teach you a little bit about different things in between those two things, but I'm going to test you on combinations and permutations. All right, this is an example of an exponential combination. And this is a test question, so you need to write it down as soon as I can move this. Well, that's not going to let me move it. Okay. So they give you a... They give you a license plate. You're working in a prison. I'm sorry. You're working in a license plate factory. That's who used to make license plates as prisoners. I didn't know if y'all knew that or not. They had to get rid of that because it was inhumane to work people while they were in jail. Just like it was inhumane to work them on the chain gang. When you're in prison, you're supposed to what? Supposed to what? Three meals and a cot and, you know, watch TV all day. Anyway, it's how how many number how many seven number nice license plates could be made when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots? And what you have to think about now is when you're talking about a license plate, those slots are slots, and you can put anything in it. You can put a number, you can put a shape, you can put a letter. You got to think of them as slots. Slots that you drop there. You ever seen Pling Plot or what, it, what is it called? Plinko? When the ball falls all the way down and it falls in a slot, yeah. think of those as seven slots because it's going to pay off 10 to the seventh power. The number of slots is equal to the exponent. Okay? 10 to the seventh power. Now, why, why is there 10 digits? Well, 0 to 10 is, and they don't give you this, they don't give you this information in the question. I don't know why. The question will say, how many, how many license plates can be made with seven digits, each digit being between zero and nine? Zero and nine is ten digits. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten digits. So if it was just nine digits, it would be nine to the seventh power. But the question will designate how many digits, slots, and how many numbers can be used? Capiche? This is a test question, so make sure you copy it down or take a picture of it because it is a test question, not only in my test, but it's a question, it's a, it's a test question on any standardized test. Million? Yep. Is that including letters? No. <coughs> So, if I wanted to do the same with, I cannot believe you are writing notes from the last class when I give y'all video of the class. I am. I mean, that's ridiculous. Anyway, and people wonder, <laughs> shut up, Hubert. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there you go, 10 to the seventh power. All right. Permutations. The order of arrangement, what? Matters. Take your handy dandy highlighter and you should write this down. You know, I with a permutation. Dream, I don't dream about highlighter. No, I don't. I have a dream about highlighter. Oh my goodness, I'm like, yes, I am. 
Now, what is a perme what is factorial? Factorial is going to be used here. I'm going to go ahead and write it down because I don't know if this see this book thinks y'all are all stupid. So it's not going to tell you the definition. It's going to try to dumbize the, the actual definition. So, anyway, that's called factorial. Factorial, I'm going to give you a Hubertism definition. Multiplying numbers in their sequence. That's it. So what would three factorial be? Three times three times one. Three times two times one. Why do not it include zero? Because that would annihilate the whole what? The whole sequence. Because you can't use zero. So out here, you say x cannot equal zero. Because you can't use zero. Because if you use zero, everything would cancel out. Factorial would be non-existent. So, what's four factorial? Well, we know that three times two is six, but look here, this is a trick to learn from the one. Four times three times two times one, you can do it four times three times two times one, or you can say four times six, which is 24. Well, what about five factorial? Well, five factorial, you can do it five times three, four, times three, times two, times one, or you can multiply what? Five times 24, and that'd be 120. So you see the pattern? You can either multiply it out, or you can take the previous and multiply by the, the current. So I can take the previous of six, multiply it by four, and that will give me four factorial. I can take the previous of four factorial, multiply it by five, and that'll give me the y. Because in each one, you're basically what? Multiplying by the previous. Go away. Talking about me? Everything's not about you. <laughs> Are you sure? Yep. Well, I don't know where that's there. Thank you. Go away. I don't want you anywhere around. Oh. Okay. I want to. Okay. See, so here is 3 times 2 times 1. Well, it's right there. See? So 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is right there. So you can just multiply by the previous factorial if you wanted to. So is it really an, ex an exclamation point for the symbol? Yeah. Okay. That means factorial. Just like this means therefore. What? what is that? I did not know that. Three dots. Yeah. Where, There's a lot know. of them. When you see a teacher write therefore on the board, oh, they'll write three dots. A lot of people think that's, it's the predator. That's like the, right the predator mark. That. You know, when the predator's fixing to shoot somebody. Have you not seen that? Yes, I've seen it. I've seen all the predator movies. No. It's one of my favorite movies. No, like the Russian game. Is that just like a math thing or like a, a language, Russian language, language, like a language thing? It's a math yeah. symbol. Yeah, a lot of people don't see a lot of math symbols, especially in South Carolina and Georgia, because we don't teach we don't teach math. We we coach for a test in South Carolina. I don't know about Georgia. Yeah. Now, if you don't understand multiplying numbers in their sequence, then you need to read the dummy definition down here. The n factorial is n times n minus one times n minus one continue till you get down to one. Book is so stupid. A middle high school principal needs to educate six different classes, schedule six different classes, algebra, English, history, Spanish, science, and gym, in six different time periods. How many different class schedules are possible? Now, nobody sits here and does this stuff. This is not a good question because it's nobody sits here and says, well, how many possibilities can I have? Okay, but it's six factorial. That's it. Now, what can you take from this? Well, anytime you want to arrange three or four different things into a different order, then you do the factorial. 
The best example I can give you for a test question is the word smile. Okay? The word smile. How many different words or arrangements? How many different arrangements of the word smile is there? It'd be five factorial. One, smile, S-M-I-L-E. Five factorial. So there's five different arrangements of those letters. That's the best example I can give you for a test question. So write that down, smile. And then write down how many different arrangements of S-M-I-L-E are there. And it would be 720 or five factorial, which is five times why is the six factorial is not 120? Yeah, but smile only has five. Oh, 720. I'm sorry. I thought that was 120. I'm sorry. Five factorial is 120 because smile is S M I L E. Well, what about supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Too many. Spell it. Huh? That'd be 26 factorial. That'd be a big number. Your your calculator will only go to about 70 factorial. Or 68 factorial. And that's a BA number. Okay? But this is a test, not that, that's not a test question. The test question I would give you would be like smile. And how many different, now, did I say words or arrangement of letters? Arrangement of letters. Words, you can't treat some of those as words because they don't mean anything. Mile. Lime. Those are words. <coughs> Limes. So you could you could actually find some words, but that's a different story. Okay? Next. This is the permutation formula. I'm going to highlight it for your information, for your notes. But I will not expect for you to use it. Why? Because I'm going to show you how to do it with technology. And that is the best way. I'm just going. To, I'm not going to go back and change it. Um, today's not the day to be fiddling with this today. I'm in a rant mood too. All right. Now you're going to use it on your TI, and I'm going to show you how to do it on Excel. Now a lot of you say, "Well, I don't know how to use Excel." You don't even know how to have to know. All you have to know is how to type in two things. Okay, come in and permute, and then I'll show you how to use it. If you don't have, if you don't want to use Excel, then I'll show you how to use the TI. If you don't have either, then you need to find something, okay? Because you can type this in, and it is a pain, but you can do it on your calculator. It's just extra work, okay? And I'll show you how to use it in just a second. N is always your what number? Biggest number. Good. You listened that day. Wow. You're the one. On a, ten, on a team of 10 swimmers, how many possible four-person relay teams are there? Okay. So that'd be 10 combination of four. This is not a permutation because it's not asking for order. Why would they do this question and not... Okay, here it is. Here's the permutation. I don't know what that last question was. If an international track event has eight athletes participating and three medals, blah, 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 are awarded, how many different orderings? I highlight the word order. Permutation means order. Okay, so you need to put right here permutation. Permutation. If you see the word order, if you have anything in the question that says order, whether it be officers or whether it be first, second, or third order in a race or record, record or it be uh, medals in a competition, this is a test question, so make sure you write it down. Now look at what they're doing. What is A? Your biggest what? Your biggest number, so it's in. And then the three is how many medals are given. And this is how you type it in. So make sure you know how to type it in. Now, if you have a scientific calculator, which means that you take your calculator and turn it sideways on your phone, 
you should be able to find factorial on there. If you don't have a factorial on your calculator and you don't have a TI and you don't have an Excel spreadsheet, then you're going to have to buy something. You're going to have to beg, borrow, steal something to do this because you, you could do it by hand, but it would take forever because you got to multiply 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times, and then you got to go down at the bottom. 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial. And, of course, the 5 factorials are basically going to cancel out. And that's left with what? When you cancel these two out, what's left? Make sure you make that note. I don't see anybody writing. Why aren't y'all writing? Y'all just not going to write? Or? I'm writing. Okay. One person. Okay. See, the fives cancel. Five factorial. And you need to see that, especially if you're going to be doing this by hand. That's the only shortcut I can give you. The five factorials cancel. What? No, I'm not doing it by hand. Okay. I took. I took. Most of y'all have. She literally just skipped straight to the doing on She never looked at. Um. Well, I think everybody ought to know the know this because there's some tests that you're not allowed to use calculator on. Okay. So that's that. A little league manager has 15 children. Oh, these are so stupid. How many ways can she form a nine-player batting order? Okay. There it is, 15 permutation of nine. Is Notice the word, what? Batting what? Oh, batting order. order. Is that for real? Yep. Now you think about it. Like One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight people in here. We're going to make a softball team. He's going to hit first. That's one combination. You're going to hit first. That's one combination. You're going to hit first. Well, there's only eight different combinations. Yeah, but then i got to switch it around. He's going to hit second. Then who's going to hit first? I just you know, I, I make everybody first. I make everybody second. I make everybody third. I make everybody fourth. There's going to be umpteen different permutations in there. Okay? Kind of like the ping pong ball and the rat, rat traps or mouse traps. It's going to go all over the place. So that's how you do it. Crazy. Yep. Then you think, wait till we get to the lottery. Okay? Combinations. Combinations know what? Write that down. There it is, right there. The order of the arrangement does not what? Does not matter. That's the difference between a combination and a permutation. Now, this is stuff that you will see on a standardized test, especially those of you going into nursing. For like, what is it called? Critical? No. What do you call the things you go on? Clinical. Clinicals. I couldn't get critical out of my head. Clinical. When you get into clinicals, you have to take an exam or whatever to get into the program or whatever. This is on there. Okay? A combination or permutation. Because think of Iron Man 2. Remember when he was sitting in the donut shop with... Samuel, I love Samuel Jackson. I don't like his politics, but he's a great actor. I loved him in um, uh, no, Mississippi. <laughs> he played a man. Well, I played Mississippi Burning when he played the father of the daughter that was killed. I loved him in that movie, but he played in another movie where he's an old black southern gentleman in Mississippi. Oh, I love it when he plays those parts. He's just a good actor. But anyway... Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, when he was talking to Samuel Jackson in Iron Man 2, and he had a had a rash on his neck, and uh, and Samuel Jackson said, "You haven't tried everything." What did Iron Man say? What did uh, Tony Stark say to him? I've tried every what combination and permutation. I've tried everything that you know about. You got to know what those two words are, especially when you're dealing with health issues, when you're dealing with with dealing medications, dealing with stuff like that. You got to know. Now that's about all the math that you have to learn, but that's that's on there. Now, what is it? NCR. The only difference is R factorial. Okay. R factorial. There it is. Look here. There's the only difference. You've got to multiply the denominator by R factorial. That's the difference between a permutation formula 
and the combination formula. Okay. What are the complicated things? Just. So that's not even necessary, or what? What? That middle part is not necessary. No, nah, it's not necessary because I'm just doing it to. <sighs> Of course, n is your, your what? Your biggest number. Okay. N factorial. It's like the permutation, only R factorial is on the bottom. Yeah, well, I went too fast last time. Everything's my fault. All right, you're good enough. All right, do that one. If a three, this is a test question because it's committee or board. I'll tell you that, the committee or board will be on the test. And they're going to have a homework problem on there about the committee or the board. A board has what? Ossifers. Okay? We call them in the Marine Corps. Officers. Okay? A board has officers. A committee does not. Now, there are people, when you go to, I was born and raised in the Southern Baptist Church. And in Southern Baptist Church, there's committees to have committees to have meetings to have meetings. Okay? If you want something done in Southern Baptist Church, all you got to do is form a committee. And they would have a chairman and an assistant chairman, all right? That's technically not correct. So you do have people, and under Robert's rules, a board has officers and a committee does not. But some people don't go by Robert's rules of order all the time, okay? I'm on a board, land use board in Anderson County. I'm the chairman. I have to assistant chairman because sometimes the assistant can't be there all the time. So we have to have an assistant to, to have two. So that way, if I'm not there, I have two people that can preside over the meeting. All right. That's all we have. We just have a chairman and an assistant chairman. We don't have anything else because we don't deal with money and we don't deal with records. So we don't have a secretary or a treasurer. But when you have a board, you have to have a what? You have to have a, a line of officers. So what would this be? A combination what? Three. And there it is. Write it down. A combination three. Now while y'all are working on that, I'm going to pull up the Excel spreadsheet. No, you're just doing the whole problem. So I'm going to leave this, and I'm going to pull up the handy-dandy Excel spreadsheet and the calculator. Page 50 sheet. Pull up the calculator. And there is NCR, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You pull up what? That just come one point? Yeah, we got it on our computers. All right, so I'm going to hit 8, and then I'm going to hit 2nd. No, I'm not going to hit 2nd. I'm going to hit Math, then go over to Probability, and go down to NCR. And there's NPR right above it. Everybody see NPR right there? Type in NCR and 3, and Enter. And then I'm going to do the same thing with permutation. Eight. What was the last one? What was the permutation we did? One right before that. What was it? Uh, the nine children in 15 places. Remember? 15. 15. 
math and NPR, and then how many? Nine. Nine. And there's that number. So there's how you use NPR and NCR in your calculator. Now, how do you do it on the Excel spreadsheet? It's real simple. Type in an equal sign. Then type in permute, P-E-R-M-U-T, parentheses, the 15, comma, 9, close parentheses. So if you don't have a T-I, there's how you do it. Permute, without the T, -E, permute. Don't forget the so equal that, symbol. That would be N, comma, R. Yeah, N comma R. And then hit enter. And then C would be combin. Equals C O M B I N parentheses eight comma what? Three. Yeah. And there's that number. And I'll leave that up on the screen. Combin without the E. Remember both of them are without the E. Permute without the E and combine without the E. And then Remember, N comes first, N comma R. And that's how you do the Excel spreadsheet. So everybody should have that, especially if you take the test down in the, lab, down in the computer lab. All those computers have Excel on it. So between those two, you should have it. All right, that's enough for today. I ain't finished. I haven't finished this section but I want to wait before I cover the lottery because I want to cover the lottery because that's many test questions because standardized tests love lottery questions or in this test will too. So we're going to finish 7E. We'll finish it when y'all come back. Wednesday. We'll finish that Wednesday. So chances are next week you'll be having a test on this, okay? Next week, meaning not this week, but next week. Well, the test is due on... Don't worry about that. Okay.